Good to meet you, Sean. So, what are you up to? I've heard some really interesting things. Yeah, I actually make money out of pollution, basically. You know, I, I like something like I convert the carbon emission from mm -hmm. all the uh, industries and, uh, and the automobiles into carbon nanotubes, which are sold at a very higher price, more costly than gold. And so, uh, can you can you can you uh, tell us anything about how you do that, or is yes. that proprietary? What I do is I actually have a substrate which is coated over a catalyst, mm -hmm. and I expose that in any of the carbon emissions that come out. Like okay. any industries, any industries which gives away pollution, that is carbon emission in the form of methane or in, case in, in, in the form of carbon dioxide, whatever carbon, I can just keep it and it will form carbon nanotubes over it. And which I extract it and I can... What is the catalyst? Uh, the catalyst asking. is actually uh, magnetic uh, iron oxide nanoparticles. And and I, is I, it hard to make those nanoparticles? Is this something you, you figured out? Yeah, I, I figured it out and actually it's a particular combination that I did and it's actually, I have, I have a yeah. professional pattern on it. Did you do this in a university context or did you do it on your own, like I did tinkering, own. tinkering in your garage? Tinkering, yeah, yeah. and then they just tried it out and it worked out. You're actually. like a nanotech hacker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it sounds like what you're doing is really interesting. The only advice I would give you is that you, you need to build a complete team around what you're doing and, and you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be stingy about it. I mean, I, I, I've ended up with less than 5% of Facebook, um, which is actually a wonderful outcome because it's a small percent of a gigantic pie. Yeah. And the market you're going after sounds like it could be a huge market. Your biggest challenge as an entrepreneur is not you know, uh, concealing your idea from others or keeping your idea a secret. It's actually convincing people that you're not crazy mm -hmm. and that you can pull this off. Yeah. Um, so to the extent that you have leads as to people who could run the company. You don't necessarily always want to be the CEO, yeah, yeah, yeah. especially starting out. I actually out. wanted this to come to market anyhow. You, know, you, you I need to figure to do that. The, the way yeah. to get it to market is actually to build a fantastic team around it. Mm -hmm. So you've got to convince some combination of outsiders who think differently and insiders who are veterans who, un, who know their way around, it sounds like government, and also the emerging... <laughs> Um, you know, carbon nanotube, nanotube industry industries, yeah. um, and material science yeah, yeah. and, you know, find, find people who, um, who are board members from that industry and ultimately find senior executives from that industry. Protect yourself, yeah. um, you know, protect your ownership in the company, yeah. but ultimately don't be stingy and, and be willing to give up a lot of equity to get the right people involved. I mean, Steve Jobs always used to say in all of his interviews, and I think people didn't pay attention, I'm succeeding because I've got a great team. Apple still has the best team of A players, you know, anywhere in technology. And it's that team that allows the kind of execution that Apple was able to consistently and reliably pull off. So I think what you're doing is pretty cool. Just focus on team. Yeah, I actually have a big team, with, but they're students basically. And, actually, I, and I also ran up a big problem in university, you know, patent problems. A great team is going to help you solve those problems. You need a great operator um, who... You know, I don't believe in this idea of a business founder and a technology founder. Yeah. Though that's too crude of a distinction. Yeah. The business founder is often some kid who has an econ degree who thinks that you know they should be running the business. Yeah. You need to think in a more granular way about um, the composition of your team. A complete team is somebody who's really good at um, sort of being COO, handling sort of day-to-day -day operational problems, mm -hmm. maybe managing legal. You probably want a great deal guy. Sometimes that's the same person, sometimes it's not. But someone's real good at business development or really good at um, <clears throat> really good at revenue partnerships. Then you probably want um, a great technology leader who's not the inventor of the technology, but someone who can actually scale the technology team, yeah. like a VP of engineering. Yeah. You're going into one of these industries that, while it is ripe for disruption, yeah. um, is typically has high startup costs, high capital requirements, and there's a bit of an old boys club yeah. of executives who are running that industry. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's a lot harder to break into than consumer internet. So you need to go and find somebody, in my opinion, who, who, can, who can help you do yeah, it. Yeah. But it's cool, cool stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.